Hello and welcome. This is Sports Tonight. We're broadcasting live from Channels TV Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria. Glad to have you join us once again to talk sports. Mustin Okunakwa. It's the day after Nigeria lost to Algeria in the semi-final clash at the 2019 Africa Cup of Nations. So it means the Super Eagles of Nigeria uh, cannot win a fourth Afcon at the Africa Cup of Nations this year. They need to wait. Uh, till the next edition to see if they can get a chance to win it. Algeria defeated Nigeria by two goals to one. They will meet Senegal uh, in the, the final on Sunday to see who is actually the best team in Africa. Those two teams, unarguably, have played admirable football, Senegal and Algeria, and I think they truly deserve to be in the final. We'll talk about the 2019 Africa Cup of Nations on the show tonight. How are you taking that loss if you're a Nigerian football fan? But uh, in, in Dakar, Senegal, they are celebrating. The Algerians are also celebrating. Nigeria will play Tunisia in the third place match on Wednesday. So uh, not, not everything is lost. Let's see if the Super Eagles can just give a consolatory uh, win to their fans to have something to talk about. We'll talk about the 2019 Africa Cup of Nations. Uh, later on on the show but also uh what's going on in other parts of the world in terms of sports it was a busy busy weekend wow what a story roger fedra uh, is not getting old no i'm not buying that anymore uh, he, he told a beautiful story of how you can keep pushing and pushing fight even when you fall get up again it was an epic final with novak djokovic in the final of the wimbledon tennis championship uh novak djokovic went on to win but Wow, what a fight. What a, what a show of tennis we had on Sunday with Novak Djokovic and Roger Federer. Legends, I call them already legends, both of them. Give it to them. Uh, but it was Novak Djokovic that won that. So you know the story uh, of Simona Halep also becoming the first Romanian woman to win uh, at Wimbledon after defeating Serena Williams. That one also we get us talking. It was a busy weekend. I told you Lewis Hamilton also won at the, at the British Grand Prix. England uh, won the Cricket World Cup. In all of this, so much went down. But we will try to let you know uh, what's going on also right there at the World Para Power Lifting in Kazakhstan. Lucy Education won Nigeria's first gold at that championship. We love it so much because that one tells us a story that impossible is nothing. And uh, when you're down, you're not out. So we'll show some love to the Para Power Lifting, uh, Power Lifters for Nigeria. 14 of them have already qualified for the Tokyo 2020 Paralympics. I love the story. We'll talk about it on the show tonight. What's going on at the African Under-16 FIBA uh, Championship? The D, the Young Tigers, not the T-Tigers, the Young Tigers, are they finished third at that competition? I'll let you know what went down at that one. At the development of curling in Nigeria, after Nigeria debuted at the curling championship um, this year, a lot of persons are beginning to talk about it and take interest in the, come, in the game. It has come to Nigeria. Now, let's see. There's a federation. What are they doing? They put together a clinic recently. We'll take a look at the development of the sports. Just about the outlook of the show. Sports tonight on your award-winning sports-loving channels, television, wherever you're in the world. Welcome on board. This is the Fun Factory. So much has been said about Nigeria losing to Algeria and crashing out. Yeah, they're out. They can't win the trophy at the Africa Cup of Nations. Because yesterday when I said crash that, so I was like, no, 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 we're not out. Those ones are expecting uh, the team to win uh, the bronze medal at uh, the competition. But you guys have been talking about it. Let's keep that conversation going. I've heard so much. It was Daniel Akbar's fault. Oh, it was okay. Coach Gennon's Ross' fault. He could have made changes. Why did Oyekuru come on? Did I not tell you that Nigerian football fans that are also coaches? That conversation, let's keep it going on Twitter, channels, underscore sports, Facebook, Channels I think sports can send us an email post tonight at channels tv.com. What are you talking about? The 2019 Africa Cup of Nations. We know our finalists. It's Senegal and Algeria. What are you also talking about? Novak Djokovic showed class to win his fifth Wimbledon tennis championship after defeating Roger Federer. Tennis fans, get in here. Let's talk some sports. All our top stories can be viewed on our website, channels tv.com and on YouTube for us last channels web. Log on to m.channelstv.com, download the Channel TV app for any of those devices that you see right there on your screen. So much is happening in our world of sports. Uh, let's talk sports wherever you are in the world. Welcome on board once again. It's the Fun Factory. Uh, let, me, let me welcome in your bong Monday. He's been gone, uh, but not till November. 
Uh, he's back <laughs> on the show. You know what? It's good to have you first tonight. Good to be back, Austin. Good to be back. I'm just a shame I'm back a day after we lost in, in the semi-final sorry, sorry. at the Africa Cup of Nations. But it was <laughs> it was a beautiful football game to to for, for us to see for, for neutrals to enjoy, quite yeah. honestly. And yeah. the one thing that we have learned from the Africa Cup of Nations is the fact that you can't say never in football. You can't mm. say. Um, you can't come to Africa Cup of Nations saying your favourites, you're going to win, it's, that, it's going to be that simple. It's not been that simple, but yesterday, I thought the Super Eagles were given a football lesson yesterday by, by the Algerians. I thought we were taught in how to play football yesterday, and it, it, it was exciting to see for the Algerians, but not a good day for the Nigerians. I know, I, I know it, was, it, was, it was such a horrible day. Didn't, I, I mean, in my neighbourhood, Austin, the place was as was as quiet as a graveyard and <laughs> you would have dropped a pin and it would have sounded and me you would have heard the sound i remember when igalo got that equalizer it wow. looked like the foundation wow. of my area was shaking yeah, but yeah, after yeah. the game it was it was as quiet as you can you okay. can imagine it's okay <laughs> well, nigerians they, lo they love their football yeah they do love their football look majority of nigerian football fans they're sad but inside them Ah, they're saying a better team won. <laughs> yeah, but it's football, and whenever the Super Eagles are playing, I they expect them to win. We'll come back to that discussion later on the program. Let me take you to Kazakhstan. That's where they're having the World Para Powerlifting Championship. And you know, whenever we talk about para powerlifting, you you stand up for Nigeria. Uh, it was yesterday that uh, um, Ezuruke Roland won a silver medal, and we knew we won't wait so long before. We see a gold medal. Lucy AGK won a gold medal at the Para Powerlifting Championship in Kazakhstan, leaving 132 kg. Yes, it was a beautiful time for uh, Lucy AGK uh, right there at that championship. And in the album, I love this story so much. When you see para powerlifters, when you see persons that, that we, we, we don't give so much attention to, or we think that, oh, what can they really do? And then they go out there and they give you a stunner. Yeah, absolute stunner. It's, it's something that very refreshing every time you see these um, disabled, if you like, um, athletes or sports people go out there and do the nation proud. It gives me hope. It gives me renewed vigor that impossible is nothing. You like to say that. And I, and I, and I know that when you see things like this, it's, it's a foundation for us to do more things, to do greater things. And it's great to see this para weightlifter is doing exceptionally mm. well. And mm. she's gone there and covered herself in glory. And we hope that the tempo will be sustained. We hope that a lot of um, her teammates, her colleagues, will be drawing inspiration from there. And even the para uh, uh, um, sports um, people who are out there will be looking at this story and say, if she could do it, I could do it. I can yeah. go out there yeah. and participate in sports because we've been calling for participation. We mm -hmm. want more people to come and participate. We also want the powers that be, the people who run our sports, to give an enabling platform for people who are, who are showing enthusiasm for it. So great, great one for GK and, and, and we know more, more is to come. More will come. She's the current world champion, went there, um, defended a title conveniently. Three lifts, and then she lifted 132 kg, and it was enough to give her gold at a para powerlifting championship. Um, now, it, it will get better, as you know, said, for... Uh, for the team, because 14 of them have already, 14 para powerlifters from Nigeria, they have already qualified for the Tokyo 2020 Paralympics. And Austin, if you, if you want to be honest, and, and, I, and I know that there are people who, who have, have paid attention to, to what weightlifting has done in this country, how much commitment, even with little or no funds, how well they've done so well weightlifting in Nigeria. When you go to to the Paralympics, the weightlifting is that competition, you know, that particular sports that will give Nigeria medals. And it's quite amazing what these um, Paralympians have done, they, these disabled people have done. It's, it's amazing. And I'm very excited about it. You're talking about 14 people who have already qualified. And there are more to come. There's there are more medals to come because they'll mm -hmm. look at what the GK has done yeah. now and say to themselves, we've got to go out there. And the standard we've set over the years, we've got to keep that bar going. That's right. So that's Lucy AGK uh, coming out right there. The champ. She was so confident. Nigerian music buzzing in the air. And everyone uh, waiting to see what she can do. She's the current world champion. You see the support she had right there. 
And, and that's what we're saying, that Nigeria is too big to be frowning and crying because yeah, we didn't exactly. win uh, in the Africa Cup of Nations. Yes, we love our football, but hey, look, there's Lucy something to smile about. Lucy HK is not just powerlifting. She's telling a beautiful story, confined to a wheelchair, yet unstoppable. Yet unstoppable, absolutely unstoppable. You could see the fulfillment on our face. You could see the, confident, the confidence on our face. And it's quite amazing when, when you see when you see people like this. And she, she went out there and, and did the nation proud. Look, look at her face. Look at the mm. fire in her mm. belly. Look mm. at the guts in her face. Mm. And this is someone who, who is determined. This is someone who, who's out there knowing that she's representing the green, white, green. And it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. a fantastic story, Austin. I will let you, let's go to uh, Kazakhstan and relieve the moment uh, when Lucy AGK won gold for Nigeria. GK in brilliant form. It's a good lift. She's world champion for the second time. Magnificent. Once more for the absolute emphatic three-time Paralympic champion, Lucia GK. She's done it again. The reigning African, African Games, world and Paralympic champion, Nigeria hit the gold, Lucia GK, she's absolutely powered through the rest, she's blurred through the competition, and she is the champion once more. Utter ecstasy. Really powerful. One of the best around. She's got them dancing. Nigeria take the title once more through Lucia GK. Until Kusieva's lift just there. So, so you see, so Nigerians cheer up. How about we just, <laughs> just smile and see that, that beautiful story from uh, Lucy AGK out. Uh, Coming champion again. The commentator had to stress it. Not just to say, GK, that avenue right there promoted Nigeria in every way you can think about it. Our mm. music, our people, the flag was flying in the air. I love that moment. Also, now, you know, with, with Nigerians here, there's never a dull moment. It's, it's the fun factory, like you say. You know, mm. we know how to bring um, a party to a place everywhere we go. You know, it's, it's, it was a party kind of a, a yeah. party atmosphere out there, and it's quite amazing, Lucy AGK. And I, I love the fact that she was very happy, you know, yeah. very fulfilled. Yeah. When you go out there and make the nation proud, it, it's amazing. It's an amazing feeling, and mm. it gives you the desire to want to do more. It gives you that enthusiasm to want to achieve more things. And, and for me, in your bond, you will see Yakubu Adeshoko now. Yakubu Adeshoko has been powerlifting for Nigeria for almost forever i can remember and that team right there these are special athletes in your bong that when you see them immediately you start feeling the power of sports because when you hear their stories and then you start asking yourself what is it that i say is my problem again yeah. and these guys <laughs> are going out there they will win medals for the country they, they are breadwinners to their family they are motivated they are inspired by themselves and then to the whole world, you just look at it and like, no, this, this guy is still beautiful star. Austin, if, if, if someone were to look at this kind of story and not get inspired about it, then you'll, you'll be wondering, this kind of person, you're probably very hard to please, quite mm. honestly, because mm. th this is a super story. This is, the commentator said, that she was it. talking about Lu Lucy GK was saying, absolutely magnificent. To be able to go out there and show consistency at the world stage. It's, it's, it's easy to do it on the national level. Yeah. It's hard to do it on an African level, but to mm. go out there on the world, world stage, stage and do it consistently, yeah. not just once, yeah. not just twice, to be able to do it three, four times. Every time you go out there and show the level that yeah. you've been able to achieve over the years, it's just quite brilliant. I love it. It, it takes a lot of hard work. It takes a lot of mental mm. strength. It takes a lot of determination and desire to be the best at what you do. And it's a beautiful story. It will always be an inspirational story when you talk about these special athletes. It's, it's fantastic. Yeah. Awesome. I know. Yakuba, the shocker. I think it was the 2016 Nigerian Sportsman of the Year. And that was so inspiring because you could actually use that story to tell persons that, look, don't give up. When you're down, it doesn't mean it's the end of your story. Pick yourself back up. Be inspired tonight with the story of Lucy 
AGK and Yakubu are they shall come power, power, power lifters for Nigeria, and they are winning. You can also win. Let's get on with the show. Talk about what went yeah. down at the African Under 16 Basketball Championship in Kvet, Nigeria. Signed out of that competition on a winning note with a 54 to 53 points win against Guinea. It was so so close, having narrowly missed out of the final and a prospective Under 17 World Cup ticket. The boys. They call them the Young Tigers. We're determined to achieve a podium finish. And at the stage, I say, hey, relax in your bunk. Don't rush. You say, oh, they didn't win. On the 16th, yeah. it's developmental. Yeah. Go and take those positives. They'll get better. Absolutely. Awesome. Absolutely spot on. And when, when you're talking development, and I'm always very excited when, when I see Nigeria participate in these underage tournaments because it's the best stage to catch them. It, mm -hmm. It's the perfect um, platform, the perfect ambience to catch them because when you're giving them a, um, exposure at this very young age, it's good. It's not about winning. And people who do not understand, um, understand development always think about winning, 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 winning. And it, it's important that when you go at this stage, not necessarily win, gain the exposure, have that desire to want to come. And, and it's good sometimes disappointment can come, but the truth of the matter is that it, it's a disguise hmm. because when... A, a little lad of 15, 14 loses in a tournament in the semifinal and misses an opportunity to get to the world stage. The next time the competition is being held, we're like, no, no, we've got to go one better. Yeah. We've got to do a lot, yeah. a lot better yeah. than we did the last yeah. time. That yeah. exposure is good for their development. Fantastic. And it's fantastic, Austin. And yeah. it's great to see that they, they found themselves yeah. on the podium. I mean... It's something to yeah. build their confidence. I'm sure um, they would have been very disappointed yeah. after lo lo losing. But hey, someone should say, don't worry. Yeah. We love it. You came to this competition. You're living on a winning note, finishing as the third best team. Yes, you didn't qualify for the World Cup. It's okay. You know why I love it at the grassroots? And I keep telling everyone in Yobong that it's delicate. Everyone is involved. Yeah, exactly. This under-16 boys went to Cape Verde. The Federation, they have a lot of work to do. They need to sit down. It's an opportunity to have a peep into mm -hmm. the future. So you look at it, you tick names. Mommy and daddy, they're involved. Yeah. The schools, they're involved. Absolutely. So it's everybody's holistic. And you can't go and sleep now. It's not the time to sleep, quite mm. honestly. This is the time to say, boys, come back. Please don't go and, and, and eat anything you feel like eating and add <laughs> too much weight and all of that. This is a time for us to, to harness this talent. That's right. This is a time for us to sit down and find ways to create programs where these boys can be constantly, consistently engaged. But this is the time, man. And, and we beckon on, 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 on the powers that be, the yeah. people who run basketball yeah. in Nigeria. This is the opportunity. Mm -hmm. when, 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 when you talk of the EK Diogus, you talk of the big names, this is an opportunity to create a pathway for these boys to step into the shoes yeah. of the EK Diogus. Yeah. Yeah. This is an opportunity. Yeah. So it's fantastic. Look at them there. Yeah. And you know why this is beautiful. Uh, Nigeria Basketball Federation, please listen. Listen. <laughs> Because everybody is not asking questions. That why are they going to the United States, going to Europe to bring players mm. that have been made from that system? This is the way you can change that. Austin, because everybody is right here. They yeah. are home-based. They are young. So you look at them, you, you tick those boxes that are important, that when they leave school, they, they need to play in a viable league. You yeah. need to do a lot of stuff. And as they grow, that's what Angola is doing. Mm. And they are winning. Senegal is doing that. They are winning. And, and Austin... It's not rocket science. It's, it's a veritable um, model that has worked. And we've got to learn from these countries who have done these things and gotten there. Yeah. You cannot, I'll say it, whether it be football, <laughs> whether it be, it, be, it be basketball, whether it's handball, you cannot achieve any consistent success without a good league. That's something that we've got to think about. And mm -hmm. these boys should be coming back and not going to sleep, uh, not waiting another one year yeah. before... They are engaged again. You've got to find them in, in clubs, playing in the leagues. Yeah. And the league system has got to be so structured, so viable, so consistent. So the welfare package for some of these young players should be out there. So, mm. Austin, it is very important. Very. And this is something we keep talking. Yeah. Our league system, we won't stop. consistently yeah. structured, ensure that they are playing each other regularly. Mm. That's how you improve. Yeah, take it to the grassroots, go to the schools. Mm. Keep that process going. I love the story of the national under-16 team going to Cape Verde to play basketball. Uh, I, I, I kept that one name, uh, Chinyelu. 
Yeah, he gave us a double-double. I'm still looking for him. So let them come back home. We'll go look at the team and then tell the Federation, don't blink. Keep an eye on this team. Uh, that's one for the future. I love it. Let's go on this quick break. Sports tonight on your award-winning Sports Loving Channels Television. I know you cannot wait to talk about what happened in that match between Nigeria and Algeria at the 2019 Africa Cup of Nations. You know what? We'll go on this break. When we come back, we'll get into that discussion. So don't go anywhere. Stay.